Lesson 9, Part 5, Prepositions with the Accusative. Dia with the accusative means on account of. Now remember, dia with the genitive means through, so watch that. Dia tan lagan. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word or on account of the word, by and by he is offended. Dia ta autan ginoskin pantas. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men, or account of his knowing all men. Dia tain phonain tu numfiu. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth because of the bridegroom's voice, or on account of the bridegroom's voice. Ace with the accusative means into. Ace and me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Sometimes the object of the preposition of ace is essentially a direct object. Sometimes when that happens, it will translate with a preposition like it does here. Other times it will translate as a regular direct object. There, we could have said one of these little ones which believe me, and it would essentially be the exact same thing. That that happens sometimes, though this isn't an example of that here. Ace sarka mian, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Now, here is an example. Um, we could have said the two of them will become into one flesh, but that's that's not really the way that we say it in English. But this this verb here has the idea of becoming something new, and so um, that's why this ace dropped out. We didn't really say two because our our verb there is sort of giving the idea of of the of the of a change happening, um, and so in Greek you have to give that into like it's becoming into this new thing but we don't do that in english and here's the note sometimes ace makes a sort of predicate nominative out of the accusative now granted it's not in the nominative at all but it, it is in english they too shall be one flesh flesh in english is a predicate nominative um renaming they twain or they two or the two of them um, when this happens, we don't translate the preposition. So there are some times where ace doesn't get translated. You're going to have to go by feel. Try to translate it as two or into first. And if that doesn't work, then pull it out and see if that works a little better. Ace kephalein gonias. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. This is the same thing happening again. We've got um, genominas, which means to become. And then we've got what in English is turning into a predicate nominative, which is become, which is the subject of this uh, clause here. So head is, re is describing which, and which is talking about the stone. So the stone is become the head of the corner. Ace huius kai thugateras, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. We've got a form of be again, and then we've got uh, this sort of predicate nominative kind of idea coming across. We had to drop out the, the ace because in English, it just doesn't sound right to say, and ye shall become to become into my sons and daughters. Just doesn't really work well in English. Epi tes hadus, hadu. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it. There's sort of more a, a location direction kind of feel. Ace tan Iona, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never. Okay, this one is a little bit weird. They shall never perish, and neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Ace tan Iona actually means into the ages or sort of like into forever. And that one. Uh, is a little bit hard to translate in English, so it, they just pulled it across as never, but it, li it literally means, and they shall perish, they shall not perish um, into the foreverness, is sort of what that literally means, which is because it's so awkward, that, that's, that's why it's translated as never. Uh, there's, a not, there's a not right here that pulls in the not idea, and then we've got into the, into the forever. <laughs> Ace ethne. Depart, for I would send thee far hence unto the Gentiles.
Ace, a reine. Go in peace and behold thy plague. Ace, a reine. And he said to the woman, thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. Two here, ace canon and ace canon, that I have not run in vain nor labored in vain. Now, canon is a weird word. Um, it sort of means like emptiness or nothingness. Um, so this is actually sort of like, um, so that I had not run because of nothing or to receive nothing or where the end of it became nothing is really what that means. Ace Autan, for David speaketh concerning him. Ace Ta Agathon, let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Two here, Ace Ta Agathon and Ace Ta Kakan. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Um, you could say, uh, wise to the good things and simple to the evil things or wise about the good things and evil or and simple about the evil things anything like that would work ace marturion autois and jesus saith unto them see thou tell no man but go thy way show thyself to the priests and offer the gift that moses commanded for a testimony unto them ace sunantesin to iesu and behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they besought him that he would depart out of their coast. This one is a little bit special because it has an infinitive right here. You won't learn those for a very long time in Greek, but ace often shows up with an infinitive to show the meaning, the reason why someone does an action. But again, you, you won't see any of those for a while. Ace ta staurothe nine. Here's another infinitive, and Jesus, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Gives the purpose of why this action is happening. Ace uden, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is then forth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. This is literally into nothing. Ace. Soterion, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Ace dikaiosin zoes. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto the justification of life. Now we've got a P with the accusative, which means on or to or against. A P tain horan. Tase pros ukes tain enantain. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, or at the hour of prayer, sort of like which is the ninth hour. Epi gones. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Epi tan achlan, I have compassion on the multitude. <coughs> Epi lastain, are you come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? Kata with the accusative means according to, during, or throughout. Kata tain hadan, carry neither purse nor script nor shoes and salute no man by the way, or maybe throughout the way or throughout the road, throughout the journey. Two here, kata tain knidan, kata salmono, salmone. And when we had sailed slowly many days, and scarce were come over against Knidus, the wind not suffering us, we sailed under Crete over against Salmone. Now, you wouldn't know this by looking at it, but these are two different islands. So it's sort of like near or, or close to these islands is sort of that idea. Kath henna. Oh, here's an example of kata, which contracted because of the vowel, and then the towel became a theta because of the rough breathing. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. This is sort of like according to ones, or by ones is the idea, which the easiest way to translate in English is to say one by one. Two here, kata karin and kata ta afeleme, af. 
Afelema. There we go. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Sort of like according to here. Um, you aren't given a reward according to grace, but you're given it according to your debt. Kata tas grafas. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Long one here. Kata de kais osunen tain en nam namo genominas. Concerning zeal persecuting the church. Touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Now, this is Paul describing himself, and he's saying, at, you know, according to zeal, I was persecuting the church. You know, sort of according to righteousness, which is in the law, I was blameless, is what he's saying here. So it's sort of like an according to or, or you know, a, you know, in the realm of this topic right here, in the, in the realm of righteousness, is, is sort of what he's saying. There's also a kata at the beginning with that kata zelan, a, a concerning zeal or according to zeal. Now we've got meta with the accusative, which means after. This is a time word here. Meta tauta. And after these things, he went forth and saw a publican. Meta de te ta deuteron, got a post positive de there. And after the second veil, the tabernacle, which is called the holiest of all. This one is sort of a, lo a location after. So once you come into the holy place, then, af then there's a veil. So once you go after that second veil, now you find the, the holiest of all or the holy of holies. So it's sort of a, a location after. Got two here, meta tauta shows up twice. After this, I looked and behold, a door was open in heaven. So that's a time after. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter or which must be after these things. Now we've got pari with the accusative, which means around. This can be sort of a location around or sort of meaning like around five or 10 kind of an idea. Peri tetartain fulakain tes nuktas, and about the fourth watch of the night. So there's that sort of like about or around or sort of kind of like kind of an idea. Peri outain till I shall dig about it and dung it. Uh, this is talking about a um, tree that someone is going to dig around and fertilize. So he's talking about digging literally around the tree. Peri Autos, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them, or again, sort of around a location, surround the cities that are surrounding Sodom and Gomorrah. Peri Pauline Diaconian, but Martha was cumbered about much serving. Peri and me. And again, Peri does not contract because it ends with an iota. The only one with an iota that contracts is epi. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me, or sort of like about or around me, sort of that kind of idea. Peri tain pistin, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, amen. Pros with the accusative means to, toward, or with. Pros chiron, which for a while, literally towards a time, believe, and in time of temptation, fall away. Prostantheon. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Prostantheon. For if Abraham were justified by works, he have whereof to glory, but not before God, or sort of like in the presence of God, or, or he can't boast towards God. He can't boast to God. Pros ta theathenai, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. Here, it's sort of like we saw ace earlier, where ace can go with an infinitive to give a, a purpose for why someone is doing something. That's the same thing here. Pros perasman humin, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Pros pantas. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? Here's sort of the normal meaning of pros, which just means like to or towards. Pros halan tan laan, praising God and having favor with all the people. 
and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. This one could be translated with or to having favor with all the people, having favor to all the people. Either one works. Two here, pros haima kai sarka, pros tas arkas. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Now this one you might try to say too, for we don't wrestle to flesh and blood. And then you'll sort of see, hear that that just feels a little bit weird and maybe pop it over to against. Um, but it's that idea, or maybe we could say wrestle with, for we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, but with principalities. That one works as well. Summary. Two additional possible translations of the object of the preposition of ace are predicate nominative or direct object.